Time for another impromptu video of putting up some toys. What's up guys? This is going to be a really laid back video because it is late at night. And I just feel like, you know, making some video footage while I unbox some toys that I've been sitting on for a while. Well, actually not for a while. Some of them for a while. Two of them not so much. I just got the other day. Didn't even mention that I got them in any other video. But I figured I'd see you unbox them. I'm not going to go into in depth about them like I normally do with all the rest of my toys. But I figured I'd see you and open them up while I talk about random stuff. You know, random stuff is the best material for videos. Anyway, toys we got going through. We got Captain Marvel here. She is awesome. She looks good in the next, well, I heard that she's going to be in the uh, Infinity War. Her debut is Infinity War, Avengers movie. We have Scarlet Witch, the comic book version, because the movie version... And then we have Electro. I think he might have sucked. Did that shut this one off? <clears throat> I can't remember. His head's in there crooked. We gotta get that out. And then we have uh, Hobgoblin. He looks awesome. This is the one I was looking for forever. So we're gonna go through all these, and while we're doing that, we're just gonna talk and shoot the breeze. Let me put these on the floor. Oh, I gotta find me a. I gotta find the infamous pink handle knife that I always use to do all my unboxings. But I don't quite know where it's at. Well, I didn't find it, so it looks like we're going to have to improvise. What's the best way to do this? Best, easiest way. Who keeps the boxes anyway? Well, these boxes, because these boxes are garbage. Notice that there on the front it says, uh, buy one or be B1, G1, 50% off. Took advantage of that and the fact that I had a $5, um, gift certificate to GameStop. Get out of there, woman. Yeah, this figure here is part of the All Father Builder figure, which, oh, well, so is the Scarlet Witch. But I don't have all of them. I do have three of them now, I guess, because I have Thor. And I guess if I really want to talk to you about the rest of them, because they had the whole set at the GameStop. Ugh. There's his head. Can you see it? We focus on the head there. Quit focusing on me, camera. Hold on. Gotta do the hand trick. There you go, the All Father. Anyway, who cares? And then we have this little rubber ball that's purple. And then of course, her infamous mohawk head. Check that out. I said I wasn't going to go into in depth in these, but you know, I gotta show these off. Is it gonna freaking focus? There, geez, camera. Get with the freaking program. Yeah, she looks pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, Captain Marvel's supposed to be making her debut or something. Um, <sighs> Avengers Infinity War, which is the next ensemble movie that's going to be out in like 2019, and then she's going to get her own movie later on. So that's pretty cool. Could. It's could. That's a new word. Well, besides could. Could. That was me putting cool and good together. So yeah, I made a new word up that was already made up, but spelled different. Could would be C O O D. Cool and good together. Making stuff up here. Put it in Urban Dictionary. Speaking of Urban Dictionary, I had to look up a word the other day because. You know, I found out that MTV is apparently racist and they hate white people, so half of me is like, what the hell, MTV? Because you know, I didn't know you guys know I'm half white, half Hispanic. Uh, more specific, I'm half Mexican. But, of course, I mean, I look white, so I identify more with white people, or people in general. I don't identify with anybody, I just everybody sees me as being a white man. But yeah, I found out the other day that uh, MTV is kind of racist and apparently they want to make stereotypes about white people. and. One of the reasons I wanted to earn the urban dictionary was the uh, they told white guys to quit using the word woke. So I was like, I mean, I know what woke means or awoke or awake, whatever you want to call it. So I had to look up the urban dictionary because you know there's all these slang terms that you know the hip cool kids use these days and old people like me don't use. But apparently it means being aware of a situation or I don't. It's something stupid anyway. But yeah, they made stereotypes about white people or white guys. Like, uh, what was one of them? Said something about Blue Lives Matter to about people aren't really blue. Oh, well, no shit, Sherlock. It's a freaking, I don't know, people are stupid. Like, honestly, you know why they're so racist or stereotypical of white people? Because white people don't get offended as much as other races. I mean, that's why they went after us. They don't care. We don't care either. I'm like, we just laughed at it and just called them racist. And then they got so many dislikes on their video on YouTube. Guess what? They took it down. Look at Miss. Well, I keep saying Miss Marvel, he got the pop on the brain. Look at that booty. Ooh. 
she got some booty going on there. Check her out. Well, back to the action figures. The action figures pretty cool though. I'm glad I got her. I've been looking at her for a while because she's like ten bucks, bro. Though, freaking my memory in comments has a statue that's redonkulous. It's like she's hot. She looks good. It is a statue though. That's what kind of sucks. I wish it was a hot toy. But even for a statue, woo, she looks bad to the bone. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do her, but is it gonna do her with regular head or mohawk head? Because most times I see her, she doesn't have her mask on, so I don't know if there's a difference why she puts the mask on. Because I think most people know who she is. I don't know. I'm not a. I don't know too much about Captain Marvel, except for the fact that I think she's a big figure in the um, new Civil War II comic books. Other than that, I don't know anything about her. I'm gonna learn about her in the movies, probably. That's probably where I'm gonna. Find out about her backstory and character. She looks freaking awesome. So let's get to the next figure. On to the next one. DJ Khaled did another one. Why am I doing I'm just saying trying to use a thing of code open. I remember I'm ripping these open. At the time of this recording of this video, it is Christmas Eve, actually 1.49 a.m. Christmas Eve. Um, me and my girlfriend just actually opened up our stockings because I was so anxious just to open something that I wanted to open something. You know. This is going to be super loud. Bear with me. Oh, cha! <sighs> she has this big ass cape that's stuck through the plastic. But how the hell am I supposed to get that out besides a Yankee? I didn't wake anybody up. Anyway, now that Scarlet Witch is out of the box. Jesus. Anyway, there she is. Oh, you can see a little bit better now. Hold on. Whatever, guys. I don't care. We're not here for the action figures. We're here, well, kind of are. But. Here just to talk and shoot the breeze, like I said earlier. But yeah, MTV's racist, man. Of course, I don't even watch that shit no more. MTV's a joke compared to what it used to be. You know, it's so bad that they call it out white people. I'm pretty sure most of their audience is white because we're the only ones dumb enough to watch that stupid shit. And they make a lot of money off of stupid white people doing stupid shit on their shows. I mean, just watch Teen Moms. There. That's all you need to watch. Or all you need to know. I mean, you can't, but still, you just can't go out and say that kind of stuff. I mean, come on. I mean, you don't go around, like, and no offense to anybody out there, you don't go to making videos like, hey, Mexicans, stay in your country for the New Year's resolution. You know, you don't say that, or, hey, uh, black people, quit eating so much fried chicken. You don't say that shit. But, you know, with white people, it doesn't matter because, you know, their feelings don't matter. They'll get over it. But, yeah, we did get over it. We just thought it was funny that they made a dumbass video like that. But, you know, it was so stupid because there was white people in the video. Like, two, two white guys, because there was... The name of the video was New Year's Resolutions for White Guys. Because like, we're all the same, we don't do the same stuff. Because I've never actually said the word woke, or said Blue Lives Matter, or said, what was the other one? What the hell is mansplaining? Like, what the hell is that shit? I don't know. Anyway, so apparently they just stereotyped us and grouped us all together. It was just a bunch of dumb white guys. But anyway, let's get off that subject. That's a touchy subject with some people, I know. But, hey, who cares? You gotta talk about it some damn time. Uh, yeah, we have uh, Scarlet Witch here doing a, phew, a big old split there. Who does a better split? Oh, pfft. you get out of here, Captain Marvel. You ain't no, you ain't nothing on this. But she is pretty cool. I'm glad I got her instead of comp the uh, movie version because the movie version, like I said, is straight up garbo. Because you can't even tell it's her unless you watch the movie. If you just saw a random action figure and saw her, you'd be like, oh, it's a girl wearing red. And that's all you would know. I gotta take a puff from the vape. On to the next toy. You know what sucks about opening up all these damn Marvel Legends? I have a million build figure, a million accessories just laying around everywhere. Like on this little shelf you see back here, third shelf down, accessories and freaking build figure crap. I gotta figure out somewhere to put that crap. I have a thousand boxes in the closet that you can't see that's off screen right now. And I'll probably end up going to sort them out, put them in there. Oh, this box opened up a little nicer. How about that? Now his head, or alternate head, is pretty freaking cool. The lightning bolts coming off. This is the cool Electro, not the Jamie Foxx Electro that, you know, that movie sucked. Now, I will say this about this build figure. I kind of wish I, well, I could buy them all, but probably not going to. All the uh, figures for this build figure, because this is Space Venom. This dude's big. Hey, look at that. That's just one leg. I mean, I could understand with, like, a Juggernaut being big, but I didn't know Space Venom was so huge. But anyway, I don't have all the figures. I have, like, three. Three figures from this series, so... I'm not real, I'm halfway there, I guess you would say. But let's take him out. Oh good, he doesn't come with a ton of accessories that I gotta sort out later. But he does look pretty damn cool. 
electrified hands. Can you see that there? Look, his face has some kind of weird paint job, some war paint, some Conan and the Barber. Oh, okay. It's like electrical, electrical lightning bolts on his uh, face too, just set in gray. Uh, we gotta take that head off. Boop. There we go. See, that's the electro that I know. I just rhymed. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. There you go. Fuck this camera. But he looks pretty freaking awesome. He's really light and flimsy though. Kind of wish his pants were all green. But hey, I can't complain. He looks freaking awesome. I love Spider-Man and all his villains. I mean, I think Franklin F. M. McKinnis said before that, was it Spider-Man or Batman? I think Spider-Man has the best rose gallery as far as like all of his villains. Like he has some of the best ones. <sighs> Captain America, you got Red Skull. I mean, Iron Man, you got, what's that big dragon thing? And then you got Mandarin. Then you have, uh, who else? Hulk, which everybody's his enemy. But yeah, Spider-Man, ton of them. Mysterio, Doc Ock, Electro, Venom, Carnage. Uh, Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, there the list goes on forever. I probably left some, oh, Vulture, Sandman, what are some other ones that Rhino, like, come on. Those are some of the best villains of all, and they all belong kind of towards Spider-Man, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, so let's take one little closer look at this guy. He looks pretty freaking awesome, I love it. I need to keep focusing on my face camera. Good job. On to the last figure. We have probably my favorite out of the bunch. Well, I don't know. I haven't opened it up yet. Electro is a pretty badass figure. Let's see if uh, old Hobgobbly over here beats him out. Guys, one thing I want to talk about is, um, yeah, so I hit 500 subscribers uh, about a week or two ago. Like, I actually hit it and then like, went past these. Like, I'm at 554 at the time of this video, I think. And I said I was going to do a giveaway, which I will. I promise. I just I got to get around to it, man. It's Christmas time. Things are hectic right now. Uh, I'm buying more for other people, so I really can't, you know, I can give away stuff I already have, but, uh, I don't want to, but it's mine. Yeah, I'm going to do one. Just got to wait for, uh, the budget to reset because I spent a lot of money on myself and putting others. For you. But like I said, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. I'm saying that because I'm watching Joe Cronin here on his live stream. That's one of his donation things. His wife saying, it's Christmas time. Yeah, but if you don't watch Joe Cronin, if you're a big wrestling fan, go look up Joe Cronin's show on YouTube. He's pretty funny. He gives you all the wrestling news you need. And he's pretty funny. He does a lot of different stuff on his channel, too. Uh, besides just wrestling, I like to watch him. He's pretty awesome. Here we go again with the cape being on the other side of the plastic. And I gotta yank this shit out. And it's gonna be loud as poop. Okay, so this apparently is the uh, Space Venom head. Now, this is kind of weird because this is kind of small compared to his leg while ago. Like, what's going on here? And it kind of looks like a knight's helmet. Like, I'm just not sure. I think his body looks cool, but his head, I don't know. <clears throat> it just looks weird. Hobgoblin with his little man purse. Look at that hair. Mm. His little man purse. He has a tattered up uh, cape going on there. He does come with an alternate head, like a evil looking goblin here. But I'll probably keep that one off because I'm more known to this face here. Uh, just... Uh, not so much like the Green Goblin, he, well, he just looks like a goblin. And I love that his uh, legs are all metallic-y looking. Because you know I love metallic paint. Who was that? I'm hearing stuff. Oh, crazy thing, um, I don't know if y'all saw recently, Carrie Fisher had a freaking heart attack. Princess Leia, or General Leia now, had a heart attack and uh, that kind of sucks. Apparently, her relatives or something said she's okay and out of out of the ICU, but then some people reported she's still in there and still on a ventilator. Either way, that really sucks. Um, but I think, that, I mean, I know this is sad to say, the movie I think's already been filmed, so that's good, but we do still want her around because, you know, she's Princess Leia and she's iconic in the Star Wars. Unlike June Urso, that bitch sucks. Uh, back to the figure. Has his little elf boots, his little goblin shoes there with the pointy toes. Of course, like I said, his man purse. His blue legs and blue arms that have like metallic scaling on them. He looks awesome. I think, yeah. Oh, well, apparently his hands just come off for no apparent reason. This one come out easy? No. Why does his hands come off anyway? They don't even come off. He doesn't have alternate hands. He just has this thing that he can hold, apparently. A little fireball. Anyway, yeah, so MTV hates white people. I'm gonna do a giveaway, and Carrie Fisher had a heart attack which really sucks, 
But yeah, guys, that's what I'm share these little toy unboxings a little, but yeah, because I, they're sitting around here and I didn't want to do special videos for every single one of them because they're nothing special. I guess you'll say nothing brand new that just came out that a lot of people haven't seen already. Just wanted to group them all together and then just talk about random stuff while I'm sitting here doing it. And I need another hit from the vape. Good stuff, good stuff. Blue raspberry, pretty good. But I'm kind of getting used to it now. It's kind of not tasting as good as it was. So, anyway guys, make sure you subscribe to me because I'm the coolest guy ever. Uh, if you like this video, or if you don't, whatever, I don't care. But if you do like it, slap that like button. I'm DQ Do Dirty, aka Matthew. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about. I was thinking about changing my channel name to just my name. I'm not sure yet. I know I don't want to put nerd or geeky or anything like that in my channel name because I don't know, that's so cliche now. Like one person did it and then everybody else did it. And I do have some of my favorite YouTubers that have nerd or geeky in them, like New York Nerd. But he actually changed his name to uh, to another channel, uh, That Disney Dad. So that's, that's actually kind of original. So I like that idea. But some of the other ones, like, like some names, here, here's some names I don't like. Um, she's probably one of the bigger, uh, sub box openers, uh, Nerdy Noob, like, oh, that name is cringy as shit. Video's okay. I don't know, I don't like sub box openings. But anyway, that name, oh, okay, okay, I can't stand it, it just makes me cringe all over. But yeah, but not original at all. And then you have just all these other channels with nerd or geek or something in it, and it's just like, really? Like, you couldn't think of anything more original? Uh, anyway, off topic. Yeah, you have to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, slap that like button. I'm Deacon Do Dirty, aka Matthew. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.